church family. Hey, how you doing out there? You blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my <laughs> dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you're saved out there. Hallelujah. Amen. I truly do. That's, that's my heart. That's Deanna's heart. Yes. And you know, that's the Father's heart. Amen. Yes, and he wants all of us on this planet to be mm -hmm. saved. That's he right. Said, when he says all, he means all. That's right. All. Welcome to today's devotion, Embracing God's Love with Steve and Deanna. Yes. And uh, I'll let you know right right <laughs> off the get-go that we do this because we love you. That's right. And uh, we're praying for you. Yes. And uh, we are always searching, always searching for the one, that there may be one of you out there who are listening, that you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And listen, if you will stick with it, Deanna and I, uh, to the end of this, we will uh, walk you through a prayer. And uh, if your heart is ready, Amen. and you're ready to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we'll, we'll help you with that. We'll pray you in. Uh, and uh, so we're excited about that. We're excited about what God's doing uh, even now, still working on the 40 days. This is the last week. Is it the last this week? This is the Deanna? last week, people. So I hope you guys have dug right in there and, and followed along with Steve and I. As um, we've been doing the 40 days, so hey. It's an awesome book, I'm telling right. you, it will. Uh, if you don't you'll understand it the first this. time, you'll you will, you definitely you understand it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I know some people say I don't get it. Listen, we'll read, help you. read it again. We'll, we'll help you. If you have questions, come, come ask <laughs> yes. us. Come ask Pastor. Absolutely. Rick. That's right. Uh, so uh, we're going to get into the message, and uh, this is this one is uh, the Holy Spirit gives power. Power, yay! Yeah. Who doesn't want power? Power, power. <laughs> Especially God's right power, huh? <laughs> yes. I also wanted to let you know that there would be no editing in this one, so there'll be no, you know, little trains in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how our That's editor right. does that. God bless him. So uh, we're going to be reading out of Acts chapter three, verse six through sixteen. Right on. Get that. Right on. Talking about, uh, oh, you want to read that, love? I think it's too long. Oh. I think, um, is it verse 3 through 16? No, yeah, that's, that's verse long. 6. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. It's all right. Here we go. This is Acts 3, verses 3 through 16. Or 6 through. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but I do. What I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Woo. And he took him by the right hand. He lifted him up and immediately his foot, his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, so he leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping and what? Praising God. Yes. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Then they, then they. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Now, as the lame man who was healed held on, held on to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the porch, which is called Solomon's Greatly Amazed. So when Peter saw it, he responded, to the people, men of Israel, why do you marvel Come at on. this? I lost my place. It's all right. Oh, why look so intently at us as though by our own power or godliness we had made this man walk? The God of Abraham, listen, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But you denied the Holy One and the just and asked for a murderer to be granted to you mm. and killed the Prince of Life whom God raised from the dead of which we are witnesses. And, the, and his name through faith, in his name, he made this man strong whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him was given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you Oh, that's awesome, Dan. So we're looking right. at the picture here that's right. of yes. a lame man, a beggar, all right, from birth. He was lame from birth. That's right. And uh, he was at the gate, beautiful, and there mm -hmm. he was begging. And that's when Peter said, silver and gold have I none. But what do I do have? Is he had the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's so right. this is the manifestation of, of the gift it's of healing. Healings. That's right. All Through right. the name of Jesus. Yes. That's right. Amen. Or the working 
of the power of miracles. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And it's actually an example of the church continuing this kind of healing that Jesus did. Yeah, That's absolutely. Right. Did I say that right? I believe so. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. We have the same power. Amen. We gotta we gotta remember that. Listen, as believers in Jesus Christ, we can walk in that same power, that same um that same healing power. Just by speaking the words. That's right. Listen, that's that's what Jesus did. That's what Paul did. That's what Peter. That's what all the disciples that's did. Right. They spoke the word. That's right. Yes, they did. And yes. healings manifest. That's right. Any healing by that the takes power. By the power. Yeah, healing that takes place or manifested people of God is always the power of the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. That's Amen. right. In this cultural setting um, of the Bible. A name could not be separated from the person bearing that name. And the very name, Jesus Christ, means anointed, anointed one, people. Nice. Therefore, what Peter was saying was that the Messiah in all his fullness yes. who healed that man. And Amen. he will heal you if you're if you're not. All right. That's right. He'll Amen. heal you if you're sick. Amen. The miracle powers was not in Peter's faith, people, God, but by the faith which comes through him, the author and the finisher of our faith, and that is... Jesus Christ, That's right. our, our Lord. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Yes. I'm telling you, what an awesome, what an awesome I mean, chapter to read. Uh, to we read. have, yeah, yes. we have the same power. We can say, in Amen. the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. Amen. That's awesome. That's right. It is. That's, God is his name. That's right. It's all in his name. So here in this chapter, through um, Acts 3.16, um, we also see the outpouring of his power at Pentecost. Right on. The power of God was there, and there were many signs, wonders done through the apostles' people. Absolutely. The lame in chapter 3, what it's talking about, the lame in, in this chapter, who not, was healed. Yes. Peter did not attribute human power, but it was by the faith. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. That's wow. right. Sweet. So the power is in the name of Jesus, people. The invoking name of Jesus Ooh. of Nazareth in verse 6 came from Peter's lips. The appeals to Jesus' name as the unmistakable Messiah who yes. walked as a man among men. And because yes. he is the Son of God, of God and his work at the cross, we have the same authority, people, by the Holy Spirit. Did you hear what she just said? We have the, the same, same authority, authority by the Holy Spirit. We now can confront sickness. We don't have to put up with it. We don't have to, no. We can confront sickness by his name, with his name. Confront disease. Yes, we can confront all of that. And the enemy that, that, that seek to sustain over mankind. We have, we have the name of Jesus. We have that victory. We have that power. Hallelujah. We can walk and, in that. And through the That's power right. of God's Holy Spirit working in us That's and right. working through us. That's right, yes. We speak the name of Jesus. Yes. In his authority. Yes, amen. Not ours. That's right, his authority. His. That's right. But he's given that, us man. his authority. Yes, he has. Amen. That's right. That's the keys. That's the keys right there that the, to the Lamborghini, if you will. <laughs> that, listen, uh, if he gives you the keys to the Lamborghini, you're going to jump in the car and start it. That's right. God has given us the keys. The keys. To the kingdom. To, That's to right. To the kingdom. That's right. To what? To just sit on it? No. No. We have that authority he's given us. To move in it, right? That's right. Diana? Yes, to move in it. Amen. Let's stop, st let's stop standing idle. There you go. Come on. And grab a hold of the wheels and take off in the name of Jesus. <laughs> yes. And let's start doing the work of the ministry. Let's start laying hands on people. Let's tell people, hey, you don't have to put up with that sickness. Jesus died for you. Let them know that Jesus died for them so that they can live a whole, a better life. A whole, their life, they don't have to live in that sickness and disease. They can be whole, is what Amen. I'm trying to say. That's good, Deanna. Can yes. I say one thing here, yes. Deanna? Listen, it's, it's one thing to say, I'll pray for you. It's another thing altogether. If you lay hands right there That's and right. Then pray with them right then and That's there, right. I've seen I've seen the power of God work uh, and on people and, and the surprise. Mad. I've seen That's right. I've seen the surprise that they thought because you've heard that before. I'll pray for you. Well, you know, will you really? But if you lay hands on them right then and there and pray with them right then and no matter where you're at, and let the power of God, yes. let the name of Jesus 
flow out of yeah. your mouth and into their hearing. Yeah. Mm. Watch and see what God will do. Amen. Amen. That's right. I'm telling you the power of the power of God, His Holy Spirit moving through us. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't just say it. Do it. Do it. Amen. That's right. Amen. Start that. Start that Lamborghini That's up, right. big golly. That's right. <laughs> now, oh. if there is anybody out there Come that on. you don't know, Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Mm. And you would like to? We will. We were, we're going to say a prayer. Steve will. Right now, I'll, I'll pray. I'm right telling now. you, they'll be the best de decision you ever made. Yes. Don't. If you feel the Holy Spirit tugging on your heart, just do it. Just turn. Just say, go with it. Go with it. Let me tell yeah. you, because there is a heaven and a hell. Absolutely. There is eternal life after death. Amen. And if you have not received Jesus, you don't get eternal life. But it has to come from your heart. Amen. Okay? Amen. 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 So just repeat after me and say, Father God, I come to you now and I know that I'm a sinner. But Father God, I want to change. I need Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. I need Jesus to come live on, on the inside of me. Amen. Father God, that, yes. that my life would be changed. Yes. From today and forever, yes, Father God, God. Thank you, that I thank you, Lord Jesus. I believe what you've done for me. I believe the work that you've done on the cross. That's right. And I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you just received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, hallelujah. hallelujah. Welcome. Praise God That's and welcome right. to the family. That's right. I'm telling Amen. you, it's the best thing. Yes. And now, and now that you've done that, Come you know, on. you may not be in our area in Gratiot County, Michigan, but if you are, there is a great church with a great pastor, Come Resurrection on. Life Church in St. Louis, yes. Michigan, with Pastor Rick and Diane Lopez. I'm telling you, these pastors are awesome. You will love them. They will love you. Amen. That's right. Give us a call. Come check us out. If you don't have it, if you don't live in this area, I'm, I know there's a good church around your area. Amen. If you Look like, one. if you like this, hit the like button. That's right. Hit the subscribe yes. button. And we love you. Uh, we will see you Wednesday. Wednesday morning. You have a great day. We love you guys. Peace. Peace. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs>